Hello and welcome to the best of cat series by IMS. Let's look at the next question from Modern Maths. Now, what I would suggest here is that you pause this video, attempt this question on your own, and then watch the solution. So, we've got a question from permutation and combination here. Uh, and we have to distribute 15 identical balloons and six identical pencils and three identical erasers amongst three children, such that each child gets at least four balloons and one pencil. Uh, the first way we are going to solve this is by listing the cases. Okay, so if we talk about balloons, if we talk about balloons, we've got 15 identical balloons, out of which uh, three children are there. We have already given at least four to each one of them. So four into three means 12 balloons we have already distributed. Three balloons remain. Three balloons are remaining. What are my possible distributions? Please remember that there are three children. Let's call them A, B, C. So uh, one possibility is that I give all the three to one child, which may be A or B or C. Uh, second is I give two to one child, which may again be any one of the three children and one to the second one. And I do not give anything to the third one. Third possibility is that I give one, one, one to each one. Of them. Okay. So these are the three possible breakups of the remaining three balloons. Now, how many ways I could have distributed? As I said, I've got three balloons, but I can give all the three to either A or B or C. So how many arrangements are possible here? Uh, this is nothing but three factorial. And because two zeros are identical, divided by two factorial, three ways. Similarly, here, zip two, one, and zero, all the three are distinct numbers. Number of ways I can arrange them is three factorial, which is six ways. And the last is one, one, one. So again, there are three articles, but all three are identical. So three factorial by three factorial, which is one, way. which means three plus six plus one, 10 ways I could have distributed my balloons. So we've got the number of ways the balloons can be distributed. Now let's look at the pencils. So we have got six pencils and we are giving at least one pencil to each of the three children, which means three pencils are already distributed. Six minus three, three pencils remain. Now, because the number of pencils remaining is the same as number of balloons remaining, we don't need to list the cases again. We know that if three articles are remaining, they can be distributed in 10 ways. So I can get this 10 ways here directly. If it was anything more or less than three, we would have listed the cases again. What about the erasers? We have got three identical erasers and we have not distributed any of them. So how many erasers remain for distribution? Again, the number is three. And because the number is three, again over here, I don't need to list the cases. I know three articles can be distributed in 10 ways. So we know that we can distribute the balloons 10 ways, we can distribute the pencils 10 ways, and we can distribute the erasers 10 ways, and we have to distribute all the articles. It means balloons and pencils and erasers. And and means you need to multiply your choices. So the number of ways you can do it is 10 into 10 into 10, which is nothing but 10 cube, which is 1,000. 1,000 is the required answer. 1,000 is the required answer. So this was one way of solving this question where we have listed the cases. Now let us look at another way of doing the same question. So now we are going to make use of the partition method for solving this. Okay, so uh, some part of the solution will be, the, will be similar. So 15 balloons I have got out of 15. I have already distributed 4 into 3, 12 balloons and 3 balloons remain. Similarly, we got six pencils and we have uh, six pencils and we have already distributed one into three, three pencils, which means six minus three, three pencils remain. We have already got three identical erasers and we have not distributed any of those, which means three erasers. Uh, now, we we have to distribute these three remaining articles between three children, let's say A plus B plus C. So A plus B plus C is equal to three. This is my equation. Now here again, because the number of pencils, balloons and erasers, each of the three articles is three only. I don't need to solve three different equations. One equation I solve it to give me the answer for all the three articles. Okay, 
So a plus b plus c is equal to three, and we are looking for non-negative integral solutions because you can give zero articles to somebody, but you cannot give negative number of articles or fractional number of articles to somebody. So we are looking for non-negative integral solutions. Okay, so if I say this is r, if we say that this is this is r, and this is n, what is the number of non-negative integral solutions? So my equation here is a plus b plus c is equal to three. I'm saying this is r articles or r of uh, r recipients, and I got n articles. So what is the number of non-negative integral solutions? It is n plus r minus one c r minus one. So using this partition formula, I could have got the answer directly. So n is three, r is three, three plus three minus one c three minus one. That is five c two, which is uh, factorial five upon factorial three into factorial two, and if you simplify that, it's ten. As I said earlier, the number of uh, articles remaining for balloons, pencils, and erasers is the same, so we don't need three equations. We know that the number of ways will be same for all the three. So balloons, I can distribute ten ways. Balloons, I can distribute ten ways. Pencils, I can distribute ten ways, and erasers also I can distribute ten ways, which means. The number of ways I can distribute balloons, pencils, and erasers is ten into ten into ten, which is one thousand. So this was the partition formula for solving the same question. Uh, I hope you understood both the approaches for solving such questions. If you've understood how to solve such a question, I've got a replica question for you here. Please attempt this question and leave your answers in the comment section.